Now, did a YouTuber cause gridlock in Birmingham city centre over the weekend? Well, Birmingham certainly felt the full impact of the popularity of James Charles on Saturday as thousands crowded into the bullring for his appearance to open a shop there. Well, the city centre was jammed with some roads at a standstill for hours. Uh, some people even ditched their cars because they weren't moving at all. Well, Sarah Kilburn Wilson is here to tell us a bit more about this. And Sarah, uh, first, for those of us who don't know and at the risk of showing my age, who is... James Charles. Well, James Charles is what we call a beauty influencer or a beauty vlogger. He's 19 years old from New York and is a makeup artist. And he has an amazing 14 million subscribers and followers on Instagram and YouTube. He has a beauty channel on YouTube um, where he publishes videos of all sorts, makeup tutorials, beauty product reviews, challenges. And all of these videos are getting over 20 million views every single time, which is an extraordinary number. Um, he's also released his own makeup and merchandise, which has earned him around $6 million. And he collaborates on videos with celebrities like uh, Kim Kardashian and Kylie Jenner. Now, the thing is, beauty influencers like this have a much bigger social media following than TV stars and film stars. Uh, but have a substantially lower profile in the wider media, which means that they can go under radar and just suddenly pop up in places in Birmingham, like uh, James Charles did this weekend. Extraordinary. <laughs> I mean, he's certainly very popular. Well, certainly amongst certain generations. Anyway, we've learnt that. Um, but we were stuck in that gridlock on Saturday. And did he cause that gridlock? Well, firstly, the thing to point out is that only 250 people had tickets to this meet and greet event, but 8,000 turned up. So it was a completely unprecedented uh, number. <laughs> now, Birmingham City Council have told us that they were not informed about the event and that if they had been, then they would have worked with the Bullring Shopping Centre on the planning for the event. Well, the Bullring has said it was a great, uh, a great thing that he came to the UK for his first, uh, came to Birmingham for his first UK appearance, and that the city centre congestion was most likely caused because of ongoing roadworks. And finally, West Midlands Police said that they were involved with the planning of the event and deployed extra officers as planned. Um, to help with crowd management. They also added that no arrests were made and no incidents were reported. So we have no exact uh, cause as to why his appearance, if it did cause gridlock in the city centre, but we do know and have seen the footage mm. that 8,000 people did come out to see him. <laughs> so if he turns up again, we've been warned. You have. Well, at least <laughs> we know who he is. Yeah, we do now, yeah. <laughs> Sarah, thank you thank very you. much.